Ty Campbell here at the Teakin Clinic. Today we're gonna cover calibrating our ESC to our radio. We are gonna use an RX-8 Gen 3 in this demonstration. This just ensures that you get full throttle signal and full brake signal so that you're not missing out on either side performance wise. This is extremely easy to do and is often overlooked. I'm gonna show you right now. So all you need to do is power up your transmitter first, then power up the system. It should power up and find neutral and now flashing the onboard temperature indicator. Now all you have to do to radio calibrate is make sure that your trims are centered and that your EPAs are at 100. Press and hold the mode button. It's gonna look for neutral first. So it accepted neutral, now it's looking for full throttle so we pull and hold full throttle on the transmitter. Found full throttle, now full brake. and it should arm and show the temperature lights flashing back and forth. You can see it right there just happened. That's it, radio calibration is extremely simple and remember you need to do it anytime you flash the firmware in the ESC, replace the receiver or replace the transmitter just to make sure that you're getting full performance out of your Tekken controller. Now if calibration doesn't go as smooth as we just saw happen, don't panic, there are a few things that you can try first. Number one is if the ESC powers up and doesn't find neutral, it's flashing three on the left side or three on the right side. That means that the signal put out by your radio as neutral is not within the acceptable range that we wanna see to arm and actually go into drive mode. It's a safety feature and we did that so that the car didn't power on and then have throttle signal automatically and then just tear off the pit table. The second problem you might have is it, when you're calibrating, it might not accept your neutral signal or your full throttle or your brake signal. Now that could be a number of different things. Some radios, the signal is backwards than others, so you might need to reverse the throttle channel first before calibrating. Never reverse the throttle channel after calibrating, otherwise you'll be running the ESC reverse and your brakes and your throttle delay and your brake delay and all that stuff will be kind of goofy. If it's not finding full throttle, you might need to go into your travel adjustments or your endpoints, your EPAs and adjust that out further. Sometimes they're at 100 is full, sometimes they'll go all the way out to 150, it just depends on the radio. If it doesn't find full brake, same thing, you might have to adjust the EPAs on your radio out further. Be sure to check out our other Teakin Clinic videos and the Teakin Clinic playlist for other tips, tricks, and how-tos. I'm Ty Campbell, I'll see you next time.